Hello everyone, Quick here and today we are going to talk about the 1.1 characters for Zenless Zone Zero. Are they worth it compared to Zuyu 1? Well, let's go and find out. So now let's go and start with Zuyu 1. Is she worth pulling for? If you are looking for a top tier damage dealer, then Zuyu 1 will be a great pull for your account. Her damage output will rival Ellen's and is better than any of the standard A or S rank agents in the game currently. Much like Ellen, Suyu Wan is the only damage dealer for her element in patch 1.0. In fact, Nicole is the only other Aether agent in the entire game and none of the agent T's for patch 1.1 look to be Aether agents either. This means that if you want to build an Aether damage team, Zuyu Wan could only be the only option for many weeks or even months to come. As an agent focused on burst damage against stunned enemies, Zuyu Wan has a strong preference for forming a team with a stun agent and a support agent. She is the first character who does not require a teammate with the same element as her to activate her additional ability. This means that while she is quite limited in the role of agents that should be paired with her, she is very flexible with their elements and even faction. Of course, let's talk about the banner itself. Is it worth to pull? So if you're looking to pull Zuyu Wan, Nicole is a fantastic A-rank support agent and going to be the best in slot teammate for Zuyu Wan for a long time. Due to her defense shredding, core passive, and ether damage boosting additional ability, Nicole is a strong support for Zuyu Wan. Ben on the other hand is an incredibly low priority agent right now. His slow movement speed in combat means that a lot of players find him unenjoyable to play and the defense role is also a low priority compared to agents which boost your damage. But I'm not saying that Ben is not a good agent but if you have a build Coleta then Ben could be a good option for that team. So for short, Zuyu Wan's banner is also a good priority banner to pull. Here's the reason that you should pull Zuyu Wan. So number one, you don't have a very strong second team to tackle on Shiyu. On Shiyu right now, there are a lot of missions that you guys have an Aether double damage. So Zuyu Wan will be taking advantage with that. Number two will be you like her design and playstyle. Of course, if you like Waifu over Meta, if you like Zuyu Wan, well she is the best for you if you like her. So number three, you wanna build a solid Aether team as soon as possible. As I said earlier, on 1.1, there is no Aether agent right there. Number four, out of all top teams in 1.0, hers is the easiest to obtain since two to three optimal members are four star characters given to us for free. Given that Nicole and Anbi is free, so she is the very easiest way to build a team. But right now, let's go and start with the 1.1 characters, Jindo, Seth, and Xingyi. Now let's talk about Xingyi. Who is Xingyi and what type of character is she? We got brief glimpse of Xingyi exceptional abilities during 1.0 story content. But the next update puts her power directly into our hands. While Xingyi appears to be a young girl, there's more to this competent rookie cop than meets the eye. We know that she's some kind of android susceptible to EMP attacks though that doesn't stop her from wielding her electric button to deadly effect. If you want a stun unit that packs a harder punch than A-rank agent Anbi, then Chingyi is one to watch. Now let's talk about Seth. Yes, Seth is just an A-rank agent. Seth Lowell joins Chingyi as one of the three additional A-rank agents available on her banner. Seth is a rookie in the force but thanks to his never say die attitude and careful mentorship by commander Zuyu Wan, it won't be long before he rises up to the rocks and he joins Ben as the second defense unit on Zenless Zone Zero, raising his riot shield to stop thugs and ethereals in their tracks. Next up, Jane Doe. Okay, Jane Doe arrives during the later half of Zenless Zone Zero 1.1 but makes no mistake, she'll be worth to wait. True to her name, she's walking mystery and we can't even tell you what kind of tyrant she is. Though she maintains she's a cat and latest rumors suggest she's a physical anomaly unit, putting her in a direct competition with Piper for your team comp. Though we expect some faction synergy with NEPS units will give her the edge over the A-rank So if you're looking forward to build an anomaly team, 
Jane though will be a good option for you. So now, we finished talking about the 1.1 characters. Let's go back to Zuyu 1. Zuyu 1 is pretty much guaranteed to be a mainstay for a long time because she's the only one eater DPS currently up for the main game, which combined with C6 Deco because an absolute monster that shreds everything that is weak to eater, which is like 90% of all enemies we face in game and even in Shiyu. It doesn't help that Zuyu 1 banner happens to have Nicole on Rita. So more people are going to get C6 Nicole trying to pull for Zuyu 1. It's considered to um, reconsider that Zuyu 1 a trap on that front. More than like Shinshi is a mainly trap in this case. Since she is supposed to be replacing Anbi but Anbi happens to be also an extremely good stunner especially when combined with Hellfire Gear. So you're pulling for Zuyu 1. What about her W engine? Her W engine is called Riot Suppressor Mark VI, is Zuyu 1's signature limited W engine and it is extremely powerful. The main stat on this W engine is a large boost to crit damage which is 48% at level 60, which is incredibly powerful for Zuyu 1 due to 30% crit rate buff she gets for her additional ability and 8 charge stacks whenever the equipper launches an X special attack. These charge stacks are consumed whenever the equipper does either damage with their basic attack. This will be a strong W engine for any attack agent due to the crit stats it provides. But only agents who do either damage with their basic attack will be able to take full advantage of it. And it is currently unknown when another agent who can do this will be in the game. This W engine will be a huge boost to Zuyu 1's damage and it is recommended if you like to spend money on the game. I or even if you want to make Zuyu 1 will be your main character. But anyways, I didn't discuss yet why you should skip Zuyu 1. Okay, let's go and start with that. Players should skip Zuyu 1 if they do not need another attack agent or if they would rather save for future agents instead. Unless you are willing to spend a lot of money on the game, it is impossible to save enough encrypted master tapes to get every agent in the game, unless you are lucky enough. While Zuyu 1 is currently the core agent for the Eater Damage team, it is not essential to have this team to get max reward from the in-game um, content. Finally, as an early game damage dealer, Zuyu 1 is a significant risk of being power crap in the future. Damage dealers are the most popular type of characters in other Hoyaverse games as well and they like to release new ones regularly. Newer characters often simply power crap older ones to make them exciting enough for players to pull and spend money on them. If you already have Ellen and are free to play, you might be better off saving your polychromes for later agents instead. Well, I guess that's it for today's video and I got some negative and positive opinion about Zuyu 1. What do you guys think about this um, review or kind of guide for you guys? Is it um, fair or not? Comment down below and I might change some kind of template for this kind of video. But anyways, that's it. Have a good day and stay quirky.